So I was just about to charge the phone and I needed an extension cord. And the end, the female end of this cord was junk. It was all broken. And then this one, the female end works and I don't know where the male end is for it. So I'm going to make one out of two of them. Where they're all the same lengths. These are all corroded. Actually, if you're careful with this tool, you can take that coating off. If you got to make sure you don't get the wires inside, but if you're careful enough, you can cut the other, the outside stuff off. That outer coating. See how it's kind of. It's not cut, but it's weakened. Even that can sometimes work. But there, that's how you do that. And I'm just checking to make sure none of these wires are damaged from cutting that thing off the outer coating, and it looks like they're all good. Same thing on the other side. So I twisted both of those. That looks good right there. I'll get some shrink tube. But I get shrink tubing that's about a little more than double the size of the wire. And you cut that, you know, about as long as that wire. Or basically what I do is I cut, like, this is about an, an inch and a centimeter or two inches, or not quite two inches. So you just cut that a little bit shorter than that. Now these will go over, and there's still a little bit of room. See, that's what you want, that little bit of room so that you can still tie the wires together. So this piece is thick enough that it should go over everything here. So it goes on here. So you'll want to remember to put that on. I think in this case, I'll put it on the other side. It doesn't matter which side. easy to forget to put that on there so just put it on leave it there and now you can tie the wires together and this is how I do it some people use solder they would solder these and then put shrink tubing on but uh, I'm not the best at soldering and I find this doing it this way usually as long as you put enough shrink tubing on it's strong enough so it usually isn't a big deal you see that end you gotta flip that over. So as long as it that's why you want the shrink tubing a bit bigger so it fits over that. And then if it's too big you can squish it down a bit. Yeah. 
too big, so I'll use the crimper here and crimp it down a bit. And this isn't the strongest way to do this, but I find this is very strong and usually it never fails. Now this wire kind of got a bit of a big lump right there. Just like that, and you put that right in the middle of where the bump is. And then you take your big outside one. See, I kind of squished these together. They were kind of warm, not too warm to touch, and they kind of squished together really nicely. And it's okay if this thing doesn't end up fitting. It doesn't matter. You just put tape over this. But you have to cover that with something to make it stronger. But I find the shrink tubing does a good job of making stuff stronger. Or these cords anyway. And so it's a little on the short side. I can still put some tape on there. That's not bad. See, this is the bad cord. This is made out of resin. It's not rubber. This stuff, that's better, but it's still... These cords are way too brittle when it's cold. So, no, that's not bad. That's a pretty strong connection right there. And see, this is what happens to these resin cords. They always just break for no reason. Well, that should hopefully last... Well, this connection, no, that will make it last longer, but I know this cord is the wrong material, so it'll... It's like nicks up and down this cord. Nicks everywhere. Well, it's not too bad. Now this cord should work. That neutral line is missing, but that's not important. Yeah, it's the connection with all the wires. That's pretty strong. I think that'll last for quite a few years. The life of the cord, anyway. That is how to fix extension cords or to make wiring connections.